Good afternoon guys and welcome to Papa D's Range Time. It is uh, cool out here but it's a beautiful day. The wind is picked up and the wind has a bite to it. But here I am out on the range in my uh, completely unscientific way of doing things. So I've got the Shield EZ in 380 yesterday and ran some rounds through it. I like the gun. It's well balanced. It shoots really well and it fed three or four different types of ammo. But I was curious, whenever I shut everything off and before I went in, I did a little uh, target shooting at 15 yards on these, and I noticed a lack of energy, which we understand that 380 doesn't have the pop that a 9mm has. But uh, I was able to get uh, some of them to swing and some of them just to barely go back and forth. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to set up a bench rest at 15 yards with the 380, uh, shield EZ and then a regular shield in a 9mm. And I put these yellow dots on these plates because I know if I'm hitting to the outside edge that I can make this thing swing where if I'm hitting to the inside I'm losing the energy and I don't want to think that the 380 is not going to do what I want it to do if I'm not getting the hits. So I've got these yellow tabs on there, little two inch circles so that I can bench rest the gun and make sure that I'm getting the hits so that I can get a little more accuracy on uh, uh, my information that I'm trying to take and do. Again, this is completely unscientific. This is more for me, so where if I am shooting and if I see that I'm not moving the plates that I can say, okay, I know it's me, I need to move to the outside edge. Uh, but if I am hitting here and I'm not getting enough energy, then maybe I'm changing ammo to to do something different. So I'm shooting a 94 grain uh, standard factory ammo on the 380 and I went to a blazer brass 115 grain for the 9 millimeter shield. So I'm going to take and get set up. Again I'll be at 15 yards. We'll have a camera set up here to see the energy and see how we work out. If I can do it I'm going to try to do the 380 and 9 side by side so you can see it, but I think it's going to, uh, the, the speed of the shots is going to throw all that off. Anyway, uh, stick with me. I'm going to take and change my setup and I will be right back geared up with a bench rest and we will try this unscientific test. Alright guys, I'm back set up at 15 yards from the challenge tree. I've got the top three targets set up with the yellow dots on them. I'm, uh, I've just got regular Monarch uh, steel case, uh, polymer coated 380 ACP 94 grain full metal jacket, uh, and I've got the MMP 380 Shield EZ, which fits in the same holster that my wife's 22 compact fits in. So that's pretty nice. I don't have to buy another holster. So I'm going to get set up. I've got a second camera on the targets. And uh, let's see what we can do. See if I can take a hit this thing from here. All right, one more time out here. Uh, shield, uh, nine millimeter MMP shield, nine millimeter, 115 grain uh, PMC bronze brass cased ammo. Again, 15 yards. So I didn't get the movement as I was expecting on those plates, and I had some pretty good hits on them. So let's see if I can hit this thing with this and do a little comparison. All right, I definitely got a lot more movement on those plates with the 9 than I did with the 380. 
Uh, this really doesn't tell me anything. I would still take and carry this 380 uh, for personal protection. The idea of the soft recoil and being able to get back on target, also having nine rounds in it and carry a spare mag. And it fits into the holster, some of the holsters that I already have, so that makes it nice also. So again, this is completely unscientific, just wanted to take and see where I was at. If I am practicing with this gun and going against somebody on the challenge targets, uh, I think I would take and change to a 9mm and not stay with the 380. Anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for being here, appreciate you liking, subscribing and sharing, and I will see you down the road on the next video.